How to refund QuickBooks customer credit. Hey there, my name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University. Welcome back to another QuickBooks video. Hey, before I forget, head over to the QuickBooks University. Uh, check out the masterclass put together over there and also the uh, three free mini course videos where I show you the most common mistakes most people make in QuickBooks and how to avoid those. Uh, the link is down in the description. Check it out. Uh, you won't be disappointed. Okay, so I want to talk about how to refund a QuickBooks customer credit. I get this question a lot of, hey, we've got these hanging credits out there for these customers. And, you know, it's just sitting there. They haven't bought anything. We can't apply it to anything. It's just like a negative account receivable. And we want to clean that up. We want to get that out of QuickBooks and refund this money. These are true credits. We got to get this money back to these people. Uh, there's just nothing to offset it against. We're not doing an invoice or a sales receipt. We can't apply this credit. So how do we refund it? Because when you initially record a credit memo, so if you go to, up to customers and you say, let's see, if we go down here, we say create credit memos refunds. All right. So when you create this, um, it basically will ask you, okay, do you want to give a refund? And you can do this up here, use credit to give a refund or use credit to apply to an invoice. Well, that's great. And typically when you're recording a, a credit, it happens when there's an overpayment on an invoice. This just happens quite frequently. So let me show you an example here. If we go up to customers and we say receive payments and we choose, let's say, I know Robert Allard is in this sample company file. So he's got these two invoices here totaling 14560 So if I type in, if I say $15,000, all right, it's going to ask me, do you want to leave the credit to be used later or refund the amount to the customer? Now, at this point, a lot of times, you know, you're going to ask the customer, you say, hey, you overpaid your invoice. Do you want us to refund you this or do you want to just leave it as a credit? And a lot of times they just get left as a credit. So if I hit save and close, leave it as a credit. Okay, it's gonna bring up the screen. Let me bring it over here. It says, okay, you can print credit memo, just save it or cancel it and go back and change it. So let's say you just click okay. So now if I go over to my accounts receivable aging, I've got it over here, and you look at Robert Allard, he's got a negative $440 balance. So he has a credit balance. So if we did another invoice or a sales receipt, we could apply this credit to that and he would just pay less than what the invoice was. But sometimes that doesn't happen and these credits can just stay out there forever. And it's like, okay, you know, this person still has this credit. We want to clear these out. We want to go ahead and refund this money. So here's how you're going to do that. All right. The easiest way is you're going to go up to banking and you're going to write checks. Okay, you're going to have the date you can do to be printed, whatever, you know, but let's just say right now it's check number 241. Maybe you hand wrote the check, you put in the check number, uh, you put in the date, it's going to default to today's date and pay to the order of, it's going to be Robert Allard. Now, the amount is going to be the amount of the credit, so $440, and then down here for the account, you're going to put accounts receivable. So let me hit this drop down. We'll go up to accounts receivable. Now, very, very important. And you, you can type in a memo, whatever you need to do here, but very important. You want to make sure that you assign it to that customer. All right. So you can print this check again. I'm assuming this was like a handwritten check and I put in the check number. You can by all means do print later. You can print it now, whatever you want to do. Send this check to Robert Allard and he can be uh, repaid this overpayment that he made. So if I hit save and close, you'll see now when I go to the account receivable aging that that now is gone. So that credit is gone and off the account. So it really is as easy as that. So if you have these hanging credits sitting out there for customers and you need to refund this money, that's what you're gonna do is write these checks, send them to the customer, and it will clear this out of your account receivable aging. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below. Also, again, head over to the QuickBooks University. Check out that link in the description. I also put it in the first comment that I pinned to this video to sign up for that masterclass, and I will see you there.